The brothers are scared. They're, they're, they're in some ways rightfully scared because of their, their egregious sin. These are the type of, these, are, these men, they, they understand their, their, their sin, they understand their wickedness, but they don't understand the mercy and grace of God. Some of you are, are there. You understand you're guilty. You understand that, that you've done great wickedness. You understand that you've sinned against God and other people. But you, 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 you know so much about your sin, but you know very little of the mercy and grace of God. And so you, instead of running to God, instead of the brothers running to their, their brother Joseph and saying, hey, like, we're, we, when he forgave us the last time, it was a real forgiveness. Instead of embracing him, they're, they're hiding, they're, they're afraid. This is the exact same thing that happens at the very beginning of the book of Genesis. The very, 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 very beginning, when Adam and Eve... They sinned against God. They rebelled against God. God they, they distrusted God. They said, hey, God, you're not good. You're not for us. You're not with us. You, you, you don't have our best intentions in mind. But this, this, this serpent does, and so we're going we're gonna to rebel against you. And then after they were aware of their sin, they were aware of their guilt, what do they do? They hide in shame. Some of you are hiding in shame. Some of you are like the brothers who, are, who have been forgiven by, by God. The brothers have been forgiven by Joseph. If you were in Christ, you've been forgiven God has not called you to stay hidden in shame. And so the brothers are doing this. They're hiding in shame. And so uh, in in, in an attempt to protect themselves, this is what shame does. In in an attempt to protect ourselves, shame, what does it do? It lies. It it either lies about who we say we are. Sometimes we lie to ourselves saying, no, 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 we're we're better than who we we really are. Or sometimes we lie uh, about who God is to ourselves. To, to protect ourselves. Sometimes we lie about what, who others are to protect ourselves. This is what shame does. It, it distorts reality. And all of us, every single one of us in here, have been born into sin. We're sinners by nature and choice, meaning this, that we inherited sin just like these men have inherited sin from Adam, and, but we choose sin as well. We choose the distortion. We choose the path of shame. We choose the path of fear and not faith. And so, they are seeking forgiveness. But what, what, what's, what's interesting here, too, is that they're seeking forgiveness for their brother who's already forgiven them. But, but what's more important for us to note here is that not only has, has Joseph forgiven them, and we're going to find out more of that in a moment, but, but God has already forgiven them. Some of you are more afraid of, of people than you are of God. You care more about what others think than God thinks. You, 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 you really want to reconcile with others, but you don't have much concern to reconcile with God. I'm telling you this, the, the brothers have been forgiven by Joseph, yes. But what's more glorious is they were forgiven by God. They were forgiven by God. And so what they should do, the posture they should have is they, they shouldn't seek to deceive Joseph and lie and say, hey, dad said to do this, and so you need to forgive us because of dad. They need to plead to their true big brother, Jesus, and say, hey, he stood in our place for our sins. Therefore, God has forgiven me. God looks upon me and says, I'm an adopted son. I'm a child of God. And whether mankind forgives you or not, you're secure because God forgives you if you're in Christ. We should care more about what God thinks of us than what others think of us. These men care more about what Joseph thinks. He's a man of power. He's a man of authority. But you know who has more power and who has more authority? The God of Joseph, the Lord Jesus Christ. 